Hey everybody, welcome back to Kat's Kitchen. So today we are going to be preparing a King's Breakfast on the go. So I know I came out with that series for King's Breakfast and I tried to incorporate multiple different ideas of uh, breakfast recipes for you guys to make at home. And now our lifestyle has changed a little bit where we still do King's Breakfast at home, maybe on the weekends um, for a nice hot breakfast or a nice savory or sweet breakfast. But this time, uh, for the majority of the week, I wanted to start making breakfast for Mark before he leaves, uh, you know, for work in the morning. So he's waking up earlier now for work. So I've seen a lot of nice recipes for, you know, breakfast sandwiches and different breakfast ideas. So today I'm gonna show you what we're gonna make. We're gonna make two different breakfast sandwich ideas or recipes rather. <laughs> the first one, we're gonna make a, a sweet and a savory. The first one is going to be an English muffin with um, sausage. You can use the protein of your choice, whether you like turkey, pork, whatever you like. Um, this is gonna be our English muffin with a scramble, um, vegetable scrambled egg and sausage. And then our sweet one is going to be French toast bread. So we're just gonna take some Italian bread that we have here and make some really lovely french toast out of that we're going to pan sear that off and then in the middle we're going to have an egg scramble with sausage on the inside and whenever i do these sandwiches because i've already experimented on a few of these i've made um the, both of these recipes before as well as like a burrito style um, they have to be something easy for him to eat either either in the car or you know pretty much walking out the door with his coffee um, just to make it a little bit more convenient. And this is really a good breakfast for me too, in case like, you know, I'm running behind or I don't have time to make breakfast. Um, I don't always eat breakfast, but when I am hungry for one, it's nice to just kind of grab and go. And then just to inform you on the heating instructions, basically what I do is I take one of these out of the freezer the night before. Um, I know that he's going to need it, usually Monday through Friday and then it'll thaw overnight, and then in the morning he'll pop it in the microwave, take it out of the plastic, and it'll be wrapped in a paper towel, and then he'll just pop it in there for roughly about a minute if it's thawed. So yeah, so that's about it. So we're gonna start with our English muffin recipe, and I'm gonna show you what we've got going on. Okay, so for starters, what I started doing is toasting our English muffins. I bought two packages of them, but they do freeze really nicely. So what I decided to do is just freeze this pack and then we're just gonna make um, one pack of the English muffins. And then, like I said, we're gonna do some of the French toast sandwich with our Italian bread here. So what I like to do is put down um, a paper towel and then we're gonna toast our muffin and then just lay that down and I just stack them all the way up. So I'm just doing that with our last two here. And I did have to slice these a little bit. So then whenever we get our mixture, I just put it in there and I pop you know, them together and then I just wrap them up like this, roll it, and then I put it right in our baggie. So, and then I just go one by one. This makes it really, really fast if you do like a little assembly line like this. So we're gonna come back to these muffins whenever we are completely ready to stuff them. And then we'll show you, in the meantime, how we're making our stuffing for these. Alrighty, so I already pre-cooked our sausage. Like I said, you can use any kind of protein that you like. And then, so this is the pan that we cooked our protein in and it has little brown bits in the bottom and that's what we want, that umami flavor um, that's gonna come up whenever we cook our vegetables off next and our eggs. So I'm gonna chop up our eggs here. I've got some spinach, little peppers, and I might do some onion too. I'm just gonna pop that all in here. I'm gonna spray this again just to give it, so it doesn't stick. And then we're gonna mix up our eggs and our cheese and pour that in there as well. All right, everybody. So we have sauteed up our vegetables. I just diced them a little bit smaller this time. So we have purple onion, mixed bell pepper, and our spinach. I just did a rough chop on all this. Season with some salt and pepper. Next I have our eggs here. I have about eight eggs. We're gonna season this up and put some cheese in it. And then we're just gonna pour it 
in over our sauteed vegetables here. That is definitely a trick to saute your vegetables and your meat separately and then pour your eggs in last because your eggs are gonna take the less time to cook. So here we go. Alrighty, so to our eggs, I'm only going to pepper them right now. I will salt them a little bit closer to the end. Usually whenever I'm making breakfast sandwiches, I'll make a whole, I'll make 12 eggs all at once. But because we're making two different types, I'm going to do it a little bit differently this time. Okay, so we have our pepper in there. I have some Colby shredded jack cheese here. We're gonna pop in as well. I'm just gonna put in the rest of this to help just add more flavor to our savory eggs. And then we're just gonna whisk this up together. And then once we break our yolks, I'm gonna add in a little bit of milk, milk of your choice. I've really been enjoying this um, organic 2% milk. It's really, really tasty. I don't know if you guys have ever tried that or not, but I can get it at either Walmart or Aldi's. Those are the two places I like to go. And then obviously we go to Sam's Club. Mostly Sam's Club and Aldi's is where I really enjoy going. Okay, so we've got about a third of a cup of our milk in there for all these eggs. Just mixing it all together. Now, if you want to use white pepper, you definitely can. I know a lot of times when people are making lighter foods, lighter color foods, they like to use white pepper so the pepper doesn't show. That's completely up to you. Okay, so after all that is mixed up, I put a couple pads of butter in our skillet over here with our veggies. And then now we're just gonna, I have the temperature here on about medium. I'm just gonna adjust that. I don't want it too hot for my eggs because I don't want the eggs to brown. I just want them to just get nice and fluffy. So you can do this a few different ways whenever you're making a breakfast sandwich. Um, you can do it to where it's kind of like, almost like uh, where it just cooks like an omelet and you cut pieces out for your sandwich. Because if you do a traditional scramble, the scramble might, um, you know, run off of whatever bread you're trying to put it on, or in our case, English muffin, and then, you know, you won't be able to keep the eggs and the stuffing, as I like to call it, on your sandwich. Especially if you're trying to eat this in the car, eat this on the go. Okay, so what we're gonna do initially while the eggs are still cold is we're gonna mix up everything. So I'm just gonna give this a fast little mix. I'm scraping the bottom with my spatula. And I like to use a rubber spatula whenever I make eggs. That way you can kind of feel when it's getting, when they're getting thicker and when they're getting done, getting to that done stage. And then next what we're gonna do is we're gonna take about half of the sausage that we made or whatever protein you want. We're gonna add that to our mix now. And that's just been draining for us so that we don't get a greasy sandwich. And then once again, I'm just gonna gently Mix this in as well before our eggs really start to cook. So this is the way that I've found that if you have pieces, you can just kind of let the egg mixture kind of hold it all together for you, almost like if you were making a quiche. And you can make a frittata too. That's basically kind of what we're doing is we're making a frittata right now um, with the veggies, the protein, the egg mixture, the cheese, and the milk and everything and then the season. Now I'm gonna adjust this to medium. We're gonna let this cook and I'm actually gonna put a lid on top so that the top can cook as well um, so that hopefully we don't have to really mess with it too much. Now periodically I am gonna add in a few pads of butter and just give it a light little mix. Like I said, we're not scrambling these eggs, we're just kind of helping them to cook. And then uh, at, towards the very end, probably the last you know, uh, 30, 60 to 30 seconds of the cook time, we're gonna add in our salt 
for the eggs. And then we're gonna let these cool and then I'll show you how we're gonna build our English muffin breakfast sandwiches. All right, everybody, so while our savory egg breakfast is cooking, we're gonna start our sweet, um, and this is going to be our French toast sandwich. So I'm gonna start off our French toast mixture with three eggs. And you can adjust this to however much you would like to make. French toast is really easy to make. You just need eggs, milk, pinch of salt, cinnamon, vanilla, and that's about it. Okay, so to here we're going to add in our salt. And I've got our cinnamon. We really like it. A lot of cinnamon. So I'm going to put a little good hefty amount in here. And then we need some vanilla. Cinnamon is so good for you too. It really is good. A little vanilla in there. And then I'm gonna go put some sugar in here. All right, so this is what we're starting with. Salt, sugar, you can do brown sugar, white sugar, whatever you like, whatever you have. And then we did our cinnamon, vanilla, and I have three eggs in here. So I'm gonna break these yolks and get this creamed up first before I add in my milk. do this with a whisk just to make it a little easier for me okay that way I can really get in there and smash up all the cinnamon get it mixed into my egg So once it's nice and incorporated, now we're going to add our milk. You can do milk of your choice. Just do having. You can even do some cream if you'd like. Going to add in about a cup of my organic two percent. And we're just going to mix to combine. and you want to dissolve all that sugar. And when you smell it, you should be able to smell all those spices. The cinnamon, the vanilla. I'm gonna put a little bit more vanilla in there. A little more dash of salt. That salt balances out the sweetness. And then just a little bit more cinnamon. So like I said, we do enjoy a good bit of cinnamon. Combine, scraping down the sides of your bowl. Now we can set this aside. I like to leave the whisk in there because every time before I dip my bread, I like to give it a nice little mix so that all those seasonings can get all throughout the bread. So we'll set this aside until we're ready for it. All right, everybody. So I've got a second pan back here with some butter and a little bit of pan that's heating up for us. And then I'm just going to show you how we're going to dunk our bread. Just going to take, I just gave our mixture a little whisk. Oops. <laughs> and we're going to drop the bread in and don't let it linger too long. Otherwise, it'll start to fall apart. Give it a little drain. And I like to wipe the side there and then put it right into our, our cooking pan. So once again, just give a little mix, drop our bread in. Now you can use brioche bread for this, Italian bread, um, really anything you want. 
homemade bread. This is really nice to do when you have stale bread as well. Kind of gives it a, just a nice flavor, a nice use. And it also helps soak up all the goodness whenever you use stale bread too. All right, so I think I'm gonna be able to fit about four in our pan. And then we're gonna let these cook. And we're gonna use two of these for obviously one sandwich. There we are. And I am stirring our savory egg mixture periodically. And you can see it here. I just pop that lid on there so that it can start to steam a little bit and start to cook through without me cooking it too, you know, vigorously too, on high. I don't want to do that. I want to now switch from like medium to mid-low. And you can see I'm just kind of pushing it a little bit. I'm not really scrambling it. I still want it to be, remain in like a larger piece. Just trying to help it distribute the heat a little bit. So this is gonna take a while. Like I said, I don't want my eggs to brown and now I have our French toast on starting to saute, come together. And the next thing we're gonna do is mix up our egg mixture for the French toast. So we're gonna do that in just a few minutes. All right, everybody. So I'm just gonna show you how I assemble our savory English muffin breakfast sandwich. I just have a half a cup measure over here. And I've got our English muffin nicely toasted. Sometimes I have to take a little bit out of it. It did end up being more like a scramble, which is okay. I'm just gonna kind of pack it in. And then we like to put a little bit of our favorite hot sauce on that our friend makes. Perfect for eggs. And I just put our little top on. And I roll it up. And then when he takes it out of the plastic baggie, this is what he warms it up in. It's perfect. So for the egg mixture that we made, ended up needing that other pack of the English muffins. So I just pulled those out of the freezer. Obviously it was soon enough, they didn't freeze or anything. So I have those toasting up now for us. So we will have 12 of these, and then I'm gonna make our French toast ones next. So I'm gonna show you next how to make our French toast mixture. So like I said, I'm just going to crack these eggs right in here. And I have five eggs basically one egg for each sandwich That'd be good next we're gonna season this with some pepper I did get one little shell in there shell I would have used that but I already threw them away so all right so we're just adding some pepper to our eggs once again you can use white pepper if you prefer and then we're going to put in some milk add a quarter cup And then we're 
just going to spray the leaves up. Right in our pan here, right in our buttered pan. I got our temperature on like mid-low, about medium. Make sure everything gets incorporated. Now to make this a little more rich, sometimes you can add some mascarpone cheese or some butter if you'd like. And then towards the end, I'm gonna add my salt. Okay, and then now I'm gonna add in the rest of the sausage that we cooked. And just let it kind of come together. All right, and I'm just gonna do this the same way. I'm going to pop our lid on so it can just start to cook. I'm just spreading out our protein so that can get incorporated. We're just going to let this cook and then we're just going to kind of give it a nice little soft scramble, hit it with some salt, and then it's going to be ready to go. Alrighty guys, so we are back here with our French toast sandwiches of our egg and sausage mixture over here. And I just have that half cup measure. I just clean that out. What I think I'm gonna to do to these just to prepare them to be ready to eat is just put a little bit of syrup on each side of the French toast. And then I'm gonna go in with our egg and sausage mixture. Like I said, I kind of equip, uh, I made about one egg Per sandwich here, I think we have five of these. So I'm gonna have to see. And these eggs didn't break apart as much as the other ones did, maybe because I had more in the other mixture, in our savory mixture. But like I said, that's okay. We'll make it work. Okay. And then similar, just pop in, put our top on. Take it to a corner. We're just going to fold in one side and then the other sides and then just roll it up. And then we're going to set that aside to cool down. These are the other ones I've already done. Our English muffins and then our French toast. Oops, I almost forgot the syrup. Just a little drizzle. Your favorite syrup. And these are nice to go if you're running out the door, it really any time of the day. It'd be a good lunch or even fast dinner if you needed it. Instead of buying those pre made breakfast sandwiches. At least you know exactly what is going into this sandwich. And it's really easy to make, especially if you make multiple at once. I usually only have to make our breakfast sandwiches, usually, I want to say, keep forgetting the syrup. Usually I make them, um, I want to say, roughly once a month. Because for how many I make it a time, it can usually last us about three weeks. So we'll say on average every three weeks making new ones, which is why it's nice to have like two different varieties whenever you first make them. So you're not eating the same thing every day if you are eating this primarily for breakfast. I was trying to think of something that I can do with oatmeal. Um, he really likes cream of wheat too, but to do something like that on the go where he can literally eat it while he's driving, that might be a little bit more challenging for like overnight oats or something like that. Um, but if you guys have any ideas, definitely let us know. Maybe we can give it a shot to see if we like it. And yeah, he's a big fan of cream of wheat too. I made, I make like a maple cream of wheat on the stove top and it's really, really tasty. 
if you guys are interested in that, I can uh, make a video out of that one of these days. Crable weed's something that you don't really hear a lot of people making anymore, but Mark and I do enjoy it. And like I said, it's really easy to make. Mostly you just follow the directions on the back of the box for the most part. And then you just add your sweeteners. Sometimes we'll add a little cinnamon to it, a little cinnamon, a little bit of maple syrup, and that sweetens it up like just perfectly. Looks like we're gonna have the perfect amount of mixture this is our last French toast sandwich. And these are looking really good. So I'm just gonna let these cool down and then I can usually fit a few at once in a quart bag. Like I said, to reheat these, I just take one out the night before, put it by his lunch in the fridge to thaw out. And then in the morning, he takes it out of the baggie if it, if it is in one and then just heats it up in this paper towel for roughly about a minute. Just till it's heated through. Alrighty guys, so I wanna thank you so much for watching this video. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys all on the next one.